For years, gay and bisexual men were not able to give life-saving blood. The FDA banned donations during the 1980s HIV AIDS crisis. Last year, the FDA lifted the rules, and this Pride Month, Dania Backus shows us how one man is helping make blood donation more inclusive. Just need your donor ID or picture ID. Ralph Galvan has been a volunteer with the American Red Cross for 10 years, but it wasn't until last year that he was able to donate blood. I felt really good and really good that, you know, uh, we're not on the sidelines anymore. As a gay man, Ralph couldn't give blood based on rules the Food and Drug Administration had in place that kept sexually active gay or bisexual men from donating. To help change that policy, he took part in an FDA-funded study that led to requirement changes. Being part of the advanced study and helping shape this, getting rid of the policy, um, is beneficial to me, to my community. Last year, the FDA lifted restrictions. Guidelines are no longer based on sexual orientation, and all potential donors receive the same standard donor history questionnaire. This is really exciting because we're now able to ask every potential donor the same questions, treating them with equality and with respect, um, all while still maintaining a safe blood supply. Right now, officials say there is a critical need. Last month, the Red Cross collected 20,000 fewer donations than needed to maintain its national supply. Unfortunately, throughout the summer months, we know that we can only expect more severe weather and record setting travel, uh, which is going to further impact the ability of people to come out for their appointments. Ralph is grateful he can make a difference. It's a heartfelt moment that, you know, that I can give now and help others. And he is proud to say he is now a volunteer and donor. Donya Backus, CBS News, Los Angeles. Well, I can say, as the older person at this table who remembered when AIDS and HIV was a new thing, um, I compare it to sort of like pandemic in the beginning. We didn't know about COVID. We really, people were dying left and right and people were scared to death. It was kind of the same thing back then and now it seems like they have a handle on it from a science standpoint and you can have HIV and live the rest of your life. Um, so that fear is not mm -hmm. there. So I think that's why back then the government would have reacted that way. Yeah. But it probably is time to, you know, change that. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I just think it's so important to donate if you can. And, 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 if, and if the government is able to really allow more people to be able to donate, it's just going to benefit everyone. I mean, they've got the test now to be able to test blood for any sort of disease. Right. I mean, there's no reason why that law even needs to be in existence anymore. And I mean, we hear from uh, blood banks all the time. Oh, about the desperate I mean, need for Every it. single, and exactly, same thing. I, you took the words right out of my mouth, that blood is needed in, is. every year. And I believe summer is, is, is specifically it is. as well, too. Time. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Because of all the accidents. That's out right. There and stuff. All right, we're going to take a break and we'll be right back.